What's up you guys, welcome back to this week's Manga Sutra Manga Review, and with summer finally upon us, I want to talk about a slice of life and romance manga called Neko no Utera no Chionsan. Now the art style may seem familiar because it's from the same author and artist who created Fujiyama-san wa Shishunki. Now the manga takes place during spring break and focuses on our two main characters, Chion and Gen. Gen was accepted into an outer prefecture high school, requiring him to move to the countryside to live with his cousin Chion in order to commute to school. Now what's interesting is in the first few pages we see just how thick and beautiful Chion is, and I personally think that's just another characteristic of Ojiro Makoto's art style. As we've seen in Fujiyama-san, he has a talent for bringing out the natural beauty in his female characters without having them conform to mainstream body expectations or beauty standards. Now that aside, Chion and Gen hung out as kids and they got along really well and they had a nice friendship. But it was when Gen moved to the city that their friendship suddenly died. Now they're being reintroduced to each other a lot older and living under the same roof. So there's going to be new tension, there's going to be conflicting feelings, and there's going to be a new relationship developing between the two of them. Now me, I personally like to see where this is going to go. However, a lot of people would disagree with their relationship and the romance between them because they are cousins, but people need to consider from a contextual point of view, in that area of Japan, cousin marriage was not bizarre, it wasn't absurd, it wasn't unheard of. So a relationship or a romance between Gen and Chion isn't something that's out of the ordinary within the context of that area and within the context of the manga. Also, the second argument I would make is it's two fictional characters in a manga. There's really not nothing to get heated about in the first place. Um, art style wise, it's Ojiro Makoto. The man is an artistic genius. I love the way he is able to express a character's emotions or convey a character's emotions through their facial expressions and also the way through his art style he's able to get us to empathize with the characters. He's able to get us to feel like we're a part of the scenery, the setting, the environment. Um, in Fujiyama-san, all the main characters feelings were my feelings, their joy was my joy, their anger was my anger, their sadness was my sadness. And in this manga, the moments between Chion and Gen, I feel like I'm a part of it. It makes me reminisce about the times and friendships I've had when I was a kid. And I definitely feel like I'm a part of the um, warmer, more romantic moments in the manga and definitely more of the funny moments that happen between Chion and Gen as well. Now, as far as plot, I feel like it paces itself perfectly. It doesn't go fast as if it's an adventure or action manga, and it doesn't go extremely slow. And I feel like this would be a great read over the summer. There's not that many chapters, and each chapter has a good amount of pages in it. So, if you definitely like Fujiyama-san, I would recommend reading this manga. I would definitely recommend buying it. Um, I definitely support any works from Ojiro Makoto. This is VM, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm sorry this video was so short, but there really wasn't much plot-wise to it. It's just a romance between Chion and Gen, and um, it's a slice of life, and they tend to be relatively straightforward. Um, bye.